I've been asked a lot of questions about creosote. And while creosote has a bunch of different forms, most of them look much like this. It could be originally very dense uh, and collecting in the chimney from incomplete combustion or an especially high moisture content. As it's exposed to heat, it puffs up like this and it begins to bubble and boil and then turns into a wasp-like consistency. All of this material could have been consumed in the firebox if the combustion were more complete. Instead, it's being deposited in the chimney and this is what supports a chimney fire. This is what happens when the smoke cools and condenses inside the chimney. All the oils and the moisture and all the smoke turn solid. A lot of people think that only wood burners have to worry about having a chimney fire. This material was actually recovered from an oil flue from an oil-fired appliance that was burning poorly and subsequently caused the chimney to catch on fire. So it's important to reduce the volume of creosote that collects in your chimney and certainly have it removed by sweeping on a regular basis. Hire a qualified CSIA certified chimney sweep for your annual chimney inspection because it's where you live.